Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to run the GCD step by step. So first, you open the GCD procedure. So this is for sample A. You want to run for current density 1 MP per gram. So you must find the current. So you must know the amount of mass of your sample. So the first step is input the current value here. So to get the current value here, what you need to do is your mass time with the current density 1. So this is the mass of my sample 0 0.0132 So I'm times with the current density 1 So I get my current is 0 0.0132 So then The second is for discharging current So you just put negative in the, in the beginnings So next This is the potential window The charging cutoff voltage For example your potential window from 0 to 1 You must put the value 1 if from 0 to 0 0.8, you can put 0 0.8. Then your discharging kind of voltage is 0 if your potential window starts from 0. Next is your number of cycle. You want to have how many GCD cycle. For us, we want to have 2 cycle because we're going to use the number 2 cycle. And this step, just leave it. If you want to change the current, you also can change. And for the apply current, is your SIM. 0 0.0132 the, the, the current that we use at the beginning and then go to repeat and time the set current we put the charging current record signal just put the duration for 600 seconds but they will not follow the duration maybe they will extend the duration we just put uh, for a reference intervals, interval time is 0 0.1 and cutoff voltage is your maximum potential window. We are using one, so we put one. And for discharging current, put the discharging current that we use in the beginning. It depends on your mass, and also the duration is the same. If you want to change uh, from 600 to 900, this also can because it's not follow the rule. And the cutoff voltage is zero because we start from zero. So that's all and you can click run. Okay, that's all. It's quite simple to run the GCD.